Okay, so the last section um, was questions that I received regarding daily life at St Anthony's. Will the girls be shown how to use the facility to pay for their lunch? And are we going to be sent information about setting up another child on parent pay? Yes, you, um, I believe I was in contact with the admin team last week and they have sent out the parent pay information via post. It is kind of a lot, basically it's a log on, log in, an online account that you create and you'll have it for the five or seven years your daughter's with us. And it's basically how you can top up this account with money online and it's how they pay for lunches it's how you pay for school trips it's how you pay for the music concerts it's how you pay for even any revision guide that might be available it's all online so you should be get may have received it already or you should be getting it very soon in the post how to log in and create an account you daughters your daughters will be shown how to do how to pay for their lunch because you can pay for it online but you can also pay for it using the machines that we've got in the canteen. If they are up and running with things that are going on in September, your daughter will be shown how to use these machines so that cash payments can be made. Um, will we be sent the ribbon to attach to the blazer? Yes, you will be sent that in the post. It probably should have come with the parent pay letter. Now the ribbon, if anyone's wondering what am I talking about, it goes on the blazer above the badge, it's sewn on. Um, and it basically the colour represents the year group so it becomes easy to identify girls so if there's an issue maybe in the corridors and the girl doesn't your daughter might not know who the girl was they can say oh that the girl had a blue ribbon we know what year they're in and it narrows down the scope a fair bit also it makes sure that we know girls are in the right place at the right time because we are very lucky at St Anthony's to have separate yards for each year group. The year 7 one is the most private one and that is on purpose because we think that the young, the, it's your first year in St Anthony's being private away from the older year groups who are more settled and obviously more a bit louder and things like that. It's a lot just nicer, it's a calmer area. We want girls to just be in year 7, just be on the year 7 yard. So if we can see there's another colour. It's like, come on, move on, 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 go to your own yard, really. So it's just about keeping everyone where they're meant to be. If you lose the ribbon, there is always ribbon spare at reception. Your daughter can just get some. There's a question here. We're not Catholic. Are there some prayers that uh, my daughter can learn before the summer? Now, yes, that's a good question. The main prayers are included in the Helpful Guide to Transition, which you will find on the school website. Um, we will say prayers every morning. This is another question, or every lesson, yep. Yeah. So every lesson before the start, you'll say a prayer. This includes a French or a Spanish Hail Mary that you'll learn, and you'll say it for the next five years and never forget it. But yes, prayers do form a really big part of our Catholic ethos here at St Anthony's. They're said before lessons, they're said in the morning lineup, in assemblies, and obviously at weekly mass. So if you are not Catholic and you are comfortable with joining in with the prayers, please do so. If you are practicing a faith, a different faith, and don't want to join in the prayers, that is fine. Just be respectful. Okay, now the worst thing, that one of the most disrespectful things people can do is obviously chat during a prayer. Okay, I'm sure no one would do that, but just be mindful of it. Even if you're not partaking, be respectful. Okay, so yeah, so all the prayers are available, the main prayers are available in the Helpful Guide to Transition document on the website. Regarding the times of being dropped off and picked up, very good question. Drop off in the morning, school gates are open from 8am till 8.30am when they get locked. Late entry after half past eight must be due through reception, so that's at the very top of Thornhill Terrace, where you press the kind of intercom, they will let you in, make sure the gate is shut, and then you go through reception and you sign in as late, just so that we know you are in school, that is very important. Um, School day ends at 3.25 if they're not going to an after school club. Now, when it comes to drop offs and collections, please can I ask that you avoid driving up Thornhill Terrace. It gets incredibly congested. There are over a thousand girls leaving the school at the same time or entering the school at the same time. And on top of that, we've got lots and lots of cars doing three point turns in a very, very tight street. So it will make your life easier, it will be a lot safer for everyone if you use the streets surrounding the school. There are plenty of streets to just do a little drop off and that could be your meeting point 
with your daughter forever. I, when I used to come to St Anthony's and I would do the same. I would go around the corner, turn left, and I'd meet whoever it was that was collecting me quite well away from the school. It was much easier and a lot more safe. Um, so just to bear that in mind, it might be something you want to have a little look at during the summer holidays. Obviously, if the terrace is empty, but you'll get an idea of how busy it can get. Um, a question from parent that said, do we use supply staff a lot? Now, I would say the answer to that really is not often. Obviously, we can't predict staff illness, but if a staff member is off just for a day or a day or two because they're on a course or because of like a short, very short term illness, then our current teachers will cover the lesson. But if it comes to long term absence, yes, that is when obviously supply staff are used, but it isn't too often. Uh, we've had a question about how to apply for free school meals. You apply through the council through Together for Children website and you create an account through the family portal. If you would like specific, more specific information and guidance on that, I've got some. So feel free to email me through inquiries and say Mrs McGann and I can send you that if you would like a little bit more help with that. Um, a question about setting up parent pay and school comms. Now, parent pay I've discussed in a previous video is the way of paying for things, food, trips, visits, revision guides. You will be given information how to create a parent pay account in the post. That should be happening now. It should be arriving very soon. School comms, again, you will get information how to set that up. That's basically kind of our text system. So it's if, some, if your daughter's not in, a little text. Like that so or it's how you get emailed so that's all getting sorted out now and you'll get the information given to you can i bring a mobile phone this is from a pupil a very good question and i would have talked a lot about this during the transition days in my visits at your primaries yes you can but this comes with a very big level of trust because we don't collect the phones in like you might have dropped your phone off at pri uh, your primary reception for the day we can't do that with over a thousand pupils it isn't that feasible and it's probably not the safest way of doing it really so you will be looking after your phone so the rules are phones are to be turned off before entering the school gates and not to be looked at during the day this is non-negotiable whether you see someone else do it or not let them get in trouble do not just follow the lead you are not meant to have phones out you don't need to Consequences are serious if pupils are found to be using phones, whether that's just simply looking at the time or looking at their phones during a lesson or during a break time or lunch time. You're still not allowed it. Taking photographs of yourself or girls in the school premises was especially serious and has been dealt with at the highest levels and sometimes it's, it's in, involved exclusions. So that's just a little bit of a warning. We really, really, really take phone use very seriously in school. If you are found using your phone by a member of staff, sometimes it's very obvious in a lesson you can see that suddenly the floor is very interesting because they think they're being very subtle and doing it under the table when it, we can see. Um, so please don't try and trick us. You will be found out. Okay, it's not worth it. It really isn't. Your phone will be confiscated and it will be locked in the safe at Westburn Reception for a collection at the end of the day. If a pupil finds handing over their phone difficult and it becomes an issue or they refuse to hand it over, this unfortunately will escalate up the pastoral system and it may mean that you will never be allowed to have your phone in school and you lose the privilege. I don't want to be a scaremonger, but it's just not worth it. Okay, it really isn't worth it. My recommendation is if you don't need to bring a phone, don't bother. Don't bother bringing it. If you are travelling independently now or if you are a lot of girls in year seven, at some point might start going into the town for an hour or so after school or if you've got an after school club and you need to phone for a lift completely understandable that is a very valid reason for bringing a phone into school um that is fine but it just basically turn it off when you get in and make sure it's kept somewhere safe because it's your responsibility to look after it okay so either in the zip pocket in your blazer or in a zip pocket in your bag okie dog now, a few girls teaching over the years, I've had girls who are looking at their phones and they, I obviously question them of it, ask for it to be handed in. And then at the end of the lesson, they explained that there was an issue at home. Someone's not well, they're concerned, they just wanted to check if they're okay. Now, we're not monsters. If a pupil, if that happens, then 
talk to the class teacher or talk to the form tutor and we can get that sorted out quite easily. If that, I've had that many times, if that girl had just said at the end of the lesson, Miss, can I just really quickly check my phone because so-and-so isn't well in my family and I just want to make sure they're okay or so-and-so is having an operation, I just want to make sure they're okay, absolutely fine and I will just let them have some privacy and do what they need to do in the while I'm just in the corner there making sure that it's all okay. So things like that, extenuating circumstances, please just discuss it with the with a teacher or a form tutor. Don't go into the toilet and have a little look at your phone that way because you'll get found out and it's not worth it when really it can be sorted with a bit of communication. Okay, a few more questions then. Where does my daughter go in the morning of the first day of school? Is it the year seven yard? Yes, so several staff members, so the pastoral team, that will be Miss Jones, the head of year, Mrs Tomlin, the head of year seven and nine. The form tutors will be at the school gates and they will be at the year seven yard basically to guide you in and tell you where to go because you would have found this out in July and September would have been just a doddle. You would have walked in knowing where you're going. This time it's a bit different. We understand a lot of you don't know where you're going because you might not have been, you haven't got older sisters. There will be lots of staff there to help you, okay? You will be going to the year seven yard. Older pupils, if you're on your way to school and you just don't know where you're going, my recommendation is, especially if you're traveling, follow the crowd. It'll be a huge crowd of St. Anthony's girls going into the gate. Follow the crowd and honestly, ask an older girl if you can get a bit of help. They will be very willing to help. I know it may seem intimidating because they're older, you don't know them, but ask an older girl, am I going the right way for the year seven yard? They, anyone will be very, very willing to help you. Very good question. Are there any lockers available to store day-to-day to -to -day items? Unfortunately, no, because there is not enough space to accommodate a thousand plus lockers. This is where I go back to the backpack comment I mentioned in a previous video. Girls carry their equipment with them everywhere. And bearing in mind, you're doing a lot of moving around normally. I would recommend a good size black school bag. I have invested in ba backpacks because this little fashiony one that was on my shoulder was snapping for a start off and also not doing my neck and back any good. So I do recommend a decent sized bag. Fashion doesn't matter. Back we've got some lovely backpacks now, especially in Primark, really nice black ones. Um, so I do recommend it, but it's up to you. But no, there are no lockers, unfortunately. Do I have to buy all exercise books or do the school provide them? School do provide the exercise books. The pupils just need to look after them and keep them safe. Please don't lose them. Okay, so yes, we provide all of that. All you need to bring when it comes to equipment is kind of stationary every day. Um, you need to bring maybe some food ingredients if you're cooking that day, PE kit. But when it comes to exercise books, all is provided and you don't have to buy them. Will I get a lot of homework this is from a pupil? Now, homework is very different to primary. Back in primary, you may have got a homework once a week and you handed it in on the same day every week. You will have over 10 teachers when it comes to secondary and you'll be getting homework from all of them at some point. But don't worry, some weeks will be busier than others. Some will be quiet. It's a, there isn't a pattern anymore. There's just kind of a fair bit compared to what you're used to. But sometimes it'll be a quick five minute research top, uh, task. Sometimes it'll be a longer project you've got six weeks for. Use your homework diary to keep yourselves organised. We will teach you how to use that in September. There is homework club, a weekly homework club on a lunchtime if you need a little bit of help or if it's a particularly busy week or you know you've got maybe a competition, swimming competition on the weekend that you're going to not be in the house so you need to get it done before the weekend starts. Homework club is there. The library is open before school and lunchtime and a little bit after school as well for computers. Um, if you need to print anything off or get anything done online, which is my next question, so I'll, I'll stop there. But there's plenty of opportunities. It is about using your time wisely. Good time management. This is all part of growing up and becoming independent. Now the last question, which is a very good one. Will I need my own computer or laptop for homework? Now the answer is at times there will be homeworks that require internet access because subjects have bought into software to assign homeworks. Maths do, for example. Languages, we do. We've got loads of amazing websites where we can set homeworks. But I do not want everyone to rush out and buy a computer or a laptop because of this. You don't need to. You may find it useful if you can, but you absolutely do not have to. We've got the library that's fully equipped with computers that you can book in advance to get any homeworks completed 
or to get anything printed off. So don't feel like you've got to go and get some computers and laptops. You don't have to. There's plenty that we can do to help you with that. And that concludes the questions. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for anyone who did come in with a question and the girls as well. I hope it's been useful. Um, I just want to say all the best for the upcoming weeks and the summer and all the best for September, however it may look like. Um, we will work our very hardest and try our very best to make sure this is as successful and as smooth transition as possible um, considering the circumstances we're in. So thank you so much for your involvement in this and I hope it's been useful. Bye now.